Thank you for tuning into the disclosures with Peter the Insider and Jessica Ariel Morocco. Peter is the director of the 12th division of the ACIO, Advanced or Alien Contact Intelligence Organization. Jessica is a galactic liaison and the interdimensional seer. Together they will discuss the most current updates from the ACIO, Council of Five and other extraterrestrial sources regarding many influences on our planet today. Our new format allows you to ask questions and hear the answers from the previous show. Post your question in the comment section below the YouTube video. Disclosures Insider Intel that keeps you updated with planetary changes. Hello, everyone, and thank you for listening to Disclosures. I am here with Peter the Insider, and we are going to start off uh, with a, another show and um, covering some very interesting topics. And so, without further delay, we're going to bring in Peter the Insider. Hello, Peter. Hello to you and uh, also to uh, all of our regular, maybe not so regular listeners. Okay, so we're going to start off now. Peter, maybe you can give the background story about your, you've been away for a little while and you're in this area called uh, Gemintau, which is um, uh, the, oh, go ahead. Uh, okay, so uh, let's make it more clear. It's not area. It's a uh, mountain, what means uh, technically uh, Yaman Tau or Tau. What in a Bashkir language means or can be translated as uh, as uh, evil mountain, bad mountain or, mountain or wicked mountain. It's a, located in southern part of, of Ural mountains. It's approximately one mile high. It's like 5,380 5, uh, feet high. And uh, the stuff is that uh, uh, Western intelligence services believed that in this uh, in this region in Belaretsk Belaretsk dis district in uh, uh, autonomic uh, autonomy republic uh, Bashkortostan in Russia they they I mean the Soviets they start to to build a huge underground base respectively complex of bases. Beloretsk 15, 16, and uh, Alkino 1 and uh, 2. Technically, this is not true at all because nothing like that is here, right? The stuff is that uh, they built only very little days, sorry. Uh, I am talking about Soviets now. Russians they believed uh, they uh, they built only very little tiny mm -hmm, how we can call it you know bunker if we wanna call it that way and then some sort of uh, you know uh, missile storage systems but uh, it, it is fully functional. Yes, that's true. But what is here right now? We are talking about a huge underground complex, definitely the largest one in the whole world. Uh, not on on the globe, but under the globe because technically it's underground complex, right? And I'm thinking it's very complicated where to start because this is definitely, definitely uh, the oldest uh, underground complex in the world and uh, the most advanced and enhanced one. For example, 
uh, in comparison with uh, Area 51 Groom Lake, respectively S4 in uh, Nevada, or with, in comparison with uh, Pine Gap in Australia, this is absolutely super crazy, like let's say very highly enhanced and advanced. I'm talking like uh, Area 51 or or Pine Gap being like from from ancient ages and uh, comp compare it uh, with with uh, uh, Yamantau, you know, Yamantau complex uh, being like not only in these days but in the future. It is absolutely crazy. So how? <laughs> happened that I simply I'm simply end up here because the stuff is that there is small town not so far away uh, just by the way from um, Yamantau mountain I think it is small we can consider it small Mezhgorye, Mezhgorye. Uh, what do you think Jessica is it small 30,000 people is small what do you think yeah, that's not a very big, it's not a city, but it's maybe a town or village. Town, town, let's yeah. call it town, uh, mm -hmm. town, yeah. Not not village, but town. Well, it depends <laughs> on village would be how advanced they are there, or if they're, um, you know, if, if they're on the grid, if they are. Yeah, they are yeah. on the grid, they, they've okay. got all kind of that stuff, yeah, you are right. All right. And that's the stuff that... Uh, uh, Thanks to that, the, I mean, thanks to Mez Mezhgorye, you know, uh, they built, Soviets, now Russians, because Soviets, they built it. And uh, what is technically not so 100% true, because it was uh, built originally created, not built, let's say created, uh during uh, during russian tsar era just by the way soviet they soviets they they make it more advanced and enhanced and they they make it bigger because in soviet uh, in uh, russian tsar era russian empire tsar era there were only like between 12 and uh, 15 thousands of people so it was much much uh, smaller and now, thanks to Mezhgorye, um, there is a huge perimeter. Uh, uh, Mount Jamantau is inside it. And what is, uh, I mean, the, the true reason, no, it is not big because of some sort of uh, uh, bunker or something like that, uh, because the stuff is that they Many people believe that this bunker is about, let's say, um, civil bunker, I mean, in respectively, uh, in case, because of if, if there will be some sort of, you know, uh, catastrophic war, I'm talking about like, uh, uh, atomic war or something like that, what is absolutely not true. The fact is that those are uh, those kind of kind of you know uh, small because it is relatively small, right? Uh, those kind of of uh, underground complexes they are as say they are they uh, they uh, have four of them uh, there are they are for research but the stuff is that nothing works hundred percently as it should because of electromagnetic fields field anomalies and that is, I mean, they are, those anomalies are caused by this huge, crazy, big complex. I am in, I mean, I am inside it right now. And 
that was kind of crazy as idea of as I like to say, bright shining idea of ACIO's HQ. You know, I am making some sort of fun from it because once I will take all my missions crazy serious, I will get totally nuts. Believe it or not, it's true. Because the stuff is respectively was HQ for people they maybe don't know. That means or that equals headquarters, right? And... Uh, I was, you know, just hanging out in my house. It was kind of sunny afternoon. And then, like, out of nowhere, yeah, Russian Area 51. Yeah, you are goddamn right. Uh, and then now, out of nowhere, I ended up somehow here. Somehow that means I was teleported. And... I have no goddamn clue what happened, how how it happened, but I was here, and uh, I was kind of shocked because I was able to see, I was able to see the right things. This is like some sort of you know alphabet, or let's say Cyrillic for Russians, you know. And the, those kind of, or katakana and hiragana for uh, Japanese people, uh, that means they, their lettering and uh, via, I mean, thanks to this, those writings, I was able to, to get, okay, this uh, is written in, uh, in uh, ancient Sumer uh, Sumerian, that means uh, fine. We know that this is uh, for sure, this is, uh, let's say, universal speaking language of, uh, respect of or for super soldiers. Why not? But then <laughs> happened something weird that I was able to recognize that, but I have no goddamn clue what it was written. What was written? No, nothing. It is like, for example, you don't know, I'm saying... Uh, just an example for you people you don't know any single word French Spanish or I don't know which kind of language or, or German but you can recognize which language are I don't know just two or three random people speak in and that was it okay how the heck is this possible because I know ancient Sumerian and believe it or not, people, this complex, the whole complex, is so well uh, self-aware, it, it has some sort of hive mind, that um, it started to interact me mentally. In other words, it started to communicate me, and I was like, uh, this is not even close to be funny. What should uh, what I'm I'm seeing, and those kind of writings start to to. Uh, I don't want to say change, but I start to understand them, because this ancient Sumer Sumerian right, it was like I was able to recognize ancient ancient Sumerian, but it was crazy complicated dialect. And then I uh, get to many, many ancient uh, Aramean or Aramaic. I don't know what, what is more exact. And uh, it's kind of good even to speak because most uh, beings, like 70, 80 persons of them are wide variety of species of ETs. Let's say 70 person, uh, and then like 15 or 20, uh, 10 or I don't know what. Well, I mean 15, 15 or 10 and 10. They are they are hybrids, uh, either hybrids or crossbreeds, and they are communicating only telepathically, only telepathically. And it's okay. I I need to speak loudly, and for them it's like. Are you serious? You don't need to do so. And uh, I am 
uh, walking respectively. I start to walk, started to walk to all around the complex. It is huge. They are completely self-sufficient. They have plenty of stuff, tons of, oh, I mean, a wide variety uh, of food. They they like to eat all kind of beverages too. And I was like, fine. And what is the purpose? Why the heck I ended up here? Like it or not, I uh, figured that out that uh, uh, it is some sort of zip, like a zips you 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 uh, can um, um, get both parts, left and uh, right part of your jacket, or I don't know, overall together yeah and this is pretty much zipped uh, part of our side of reality and their uh, side of reality so you're taking both sides one two different realities and putting them together like a zipper so that they're fused fused together yes yes exactly that was uh, i don't want to say that was <laughs> this is the original purpose why I'm here, and it's like, uh, yeah, 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 you know, that's that and is it nece be... it's necessary for us to be connected to another reality in this way because the, the uh, was this the intention of the Intergalactic Council? From my point of view, to be perfectly honest, okay, it is absolutely it is the basic stuff what we need to do because like it or not without that we will be pretty much screwed and i mean really real deal screwed it will be like mm -mm, it will be no go and that's because monarch had us in their matrix for for a long time and it messed <sighs> us up this is this is this has absolutely nothing to do with Monarch. I'm saying that uh, um, let's say it was this destined, destined, you know, it was it is our destiny to to match with an, with another reality because without that we will not and how can I say it? We will be not able to get through all around that stuff. You know what I mean? Like, uh, we will be not able, long story short, we will be not able to defeat them. All kind of those negative uh, groups or bad intentioned. Uh, you mean like the Illuminati and the Cabal and all that stuff? Uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. You are absolutely you are absolutely right. But they but were But you are working... saying you are saying Illuminati only, but I am talking about Zionist Lionism. Zion, yeah, Ill Illuminati, you know, I don't yeah. know like P2, Rome Club, Bilderberg. Yep. Okay, yep, but yep. they were also working with Monarch. <clears throat> and Monarch was uh, working created that that system that that but Matrix, give me a second. Matrix this is, is gone now, but still. Give me, give me a second. This is. It. Yes, you are right. But give me a second. Mobius is gone. Monarch is gone. But give me a second. Without this reality, uh, sorry, not this. Without help of that reality, that means other reality, we will be not able to defeat them. Them. That means you know they the hierarchy enslaving you, right? What was. What we uh, sorry, what we were able to do so respectively, what we achieved um, on April twenty sixth uh, this year, aka two thousand twenty two p.m. UTC. That means Zulu, right? That was what it was. What for you? Ten a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard in U.S. and it was. What it was in Europe, it was uh, central time. It was like five uh, five hours ahead. 
no six it, so it was Sorry. technically 4 p.m 4 p.m eastern uh sorry central uh european time yeah 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 so that was that was the stuff that was the i mean like it or not uh we were too weak uh to to do such a, to achieve such a big uh, big uh, step and i don't want to blame i don't want to blame um people all around the world that are no we are screwed we are stupid or something like that no uh because to be perfectly honest um we all of us we are changing we are uh, evolving and I, for for very long time, it was in my mind this idea: no, people are lazy. I I am very honest with you, not only with you, Jessica, with all of our listeners, our our audience, that no, you don't uh, like to do the stuff, you don't like to invest time, energy, and all kind of you know all kind of those. Uh, let's say do all kind of good good stuff good um, good uh, uh, things and, but certain uh, after certain point you know i've got uh, got a very fr- a good friend of mine he's uh, from moravia part of czech republic you know and he <laughs> because we let um, certain uh, i mean uh, discussions about certain topics too many uh, so many many times and he said to me but hey try to think about that those people once they are you know like like uh, as i like to uh, as he like to say brain massage so you know always the same or very similar ideas and all kind of that stuff type of information via uh, mainstream media and uh, that that is it respectively that was it that you know like uh, uh, once their minds their brains uh, was and he uh, loved to use this word this this term bombarding and, it, and it's true bombing you know like all the time uh 24 7 non-stop i don't want to say 24 7 non-stop but pretty much once you absolutely doesn't matter which kind of uh, tv or radio station once you try to get for news not for i don't know uh songs in, uh, uh, in radio or i don't know some sort of movies or tv shows in tv the how we can call it properly the uh ideology yes that's that's i think that that's the best uh, term possible and the the way of thinking it was only the one way and once you start to uh, at, le- at least think not speak or do uh, something what was opposite to this official way right i am making making quotations with my fingers <laughs> you know uh, no you are outsider you don't you do you don't belong to the family and it is crazy and that's the problem i mean and technically like it or not People, I am very honest with you. All the good people you are hearing, uh, you are hearing this. Uh, that it was even my own way, my own path of of <laughs> how we can call it, of uh, evolving, enhancing my mind. That no, not people, you are lazy, you don't want change or something. But it is total crazy so complicated to get even to try to think in different way a way once you always uh once you won't always reach for news there there is only one line i mean idea line ideology or 
philosophy, or I don't know how we can call it properly. And that Belief was system it. system or, yeah, or the, the, the news has only one point of view. Yeah, and, yeah. Or one the point, point of view, view they want you to believe, yeah. Yeah, belief system, all kind of that stuff. And I, I, I know that I'm old. I am, I am for, I don't know, many, many years in the organization. But this is not shame to, to, to confess that hmm, after that long time and ah, finally I got it to my mind that it is not shame. Don't, uh, it, people, it is not their shame. I mean, not uh, shame of you people, you are hearing uh, this. No, it is shame. I mean, <laughs> it is thanks respectively because mainstream media was always bombing you with the same stuff you know <clears throat> and technically all of you 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 contributed you know and you are still doing that as i said why uh, uh, or with prayers meditations or if you are not believers or i don't know if you don't believe you don't deal with with uh, how we can call it properly, let's say, with uh, astral things or with uh, uh, spiritual things. As I said, <clears throat> we have Corona crisis right now, so you can contribute with uh, good stuff, all the good stuff you, you, you can do. That means, I don't know, there are old people, they are people with chronic uh, health issues, so technically they are more vulnerable because of corona crisis so why the heck not just go and and sh uh, make a shopping for them even still this stuff many people will not believe that but even this stuff can create i don't want to say can create can contribute to create respectively or now we have uh, we, we um we uh, created that so it uh, can uh, make this positive egregory or egregora uh, more and more stronger. Like it or not, this is this is stuff. It's very easy, you know. Can you is, can you describe what egregora means? Because it's not a term that we use. Okay, it <clears throat> that means uh, like some sort of astral, energetic. Uh, uh, let's say <laughs> market. How can I say it more precise? It is astral being created by energy or intention of certain intelligent beings or entities, and uh, you can maintain it on astral energetic fields and energ energetic levels. So once you can create a good, I mean, uh, positive egregory or egregora, I mean, egregory is uh, uh, how we can say that egregora is, let's say, singular and uh, egregory is plural. So let's say energies, more than one energies, so energies. So we are talking about energies more than one, of course, with all the good stuff, let's say all the positive uh, positive in uh, uh, all the positive uh, so like a thought intentions form. all the positive in uh, intentions possible all the positive in intentions possible you say like, like, like a thought form that you actually create something through your intentions uh, and a lot of people with a certain intention are creating something like yes, that? something yeah. bigger, something bigger. Yes, okay. yes, you are. So, right. Peter, what but is the origin? Is, what is second, the origin? But, but origin of second, that word. Okay? Give me a second, okay? I need to make it very clear. Please, sorry, I know that this is not okay to interrupt you, but this is very important. Egregory or egregora? Egregora is technically some sort of. Uh, um, magic period end of story but egregory is some sort of white that means positive ma uh, magic or it can be black that means negative magic right there is no magic at all it is only magic 
in pure in in very start of creation and uh via that means thanks to in, in intentions <clears throat> it will turn out to white and black so this is very important stuff and uh, the roots of um, words egregora and egregory in uh, ancient slavic languages okay. this it, it has uh, it is in uh, ancient slavic languages yeah so i can be very happy not only not only myself but technically in acio we can be very happy for even this kind of big breakthrough because it was big breakthrough i mean this let's uh, let's talk uh, let's talk about it as 26th april 2020 think let's call it that way you know and that was it you know i was skeptical i was like negative about that that pe nah, people lose interest and all kind of that stuff you know but it is pretty much vice versa yeah, i can yeah, be yeah. happy and of course i am happy that uh, despite i don't know pretty much three very let let's say pillars like i mean like three very negative stuff what they are some sort of residuum effects that means something what is like let's say once you are once you can uh, hear the song and in the in the uh, on the very end of the song they are i don't know like 10 15 maybe 20 seconds volume is getting down and it is call, uh, called fade out and it is something like that residuum of bad stuff and it is, we are talking about three main problems Cor uh, corona crisis and corona infection then uh, then uh, economy breakdown world's economy breakdown and uh, and uh, protests and that's the problem uh, in many parts of the world it is so confused so complicated that people believe that they are protesting against something respectively for something but it's so complicated so confused that it's pretty much impossible to say okay and that is what the heck is initial reason for protests and it is all around the world those kind of three main three base problems and this is it what i'm saying once yeah. we we cut it out uh, old reality old context of existence i'm talking about uh, we cut it up completely all kind of uh, bad intentions so uh, let's call them military contractors with bad intentions but uh, most important we are talking about uh, three uh, monarch that means mzl monarch security or monarch solutions limited then mobius uh the, so sorry we need to clear clear it out uh, monarch they uh, wanted to ban it is not so professional but literally they want to play because they have no 100% sure uh idea how the outcome will or should look like but they in this in this context it means they really uh, like to play with time and space the second very bad company uh, is mobius they technically created the matrix and the third of course umbrella umbrella corporation they they created uh COVID. so and this is it many people are asking me and of course it's legit the question is legit oh no you are not right we are not uh, disconnected from old system uh, because all kind of those problems are still here and i as i said this is not just like that this is not that easy process this is not like you hit uh or turn uh, uh turn sorry i mean like on off button or on computer or 
I don't know, you turn on and off uh, light in the house or something like that. Let's let's talk about uh, even not even if we will completely um, think that no residuums effect residuum effects uh, are here, and of course they still are. But let's say the the all system of existence, all, all contexts of existence, all the matrix, it is very um, sophisticated and complicated process to get rid of it. Uh, the best, uh, from my point of view, best uh, example how complicated it is uh, from, because I was thinking about that. And mm -hmm. now I got it. You uh, don't need, uh, let's say, two uh, in one, two reasons in one. Uh, the system of reactor is old. The whole, you know, architecture of reactor is old. And you have, I don't know, water dam or let's say you have solar uh, uh, power plants and you need to shut uh, atomic power plant down. No, you don't hit kill it switch, as I like to say, kill switch. So red button and now it's fine. No, it is not like that. It take, it will take years. I don't know, 10, 15 years or something like that. It's not that easy. And this is exactly what I'm saying. People, hey, be patient. Right, but well, we know that, be, that there's, be, there's a residue. Be patient. Yeah. Be patient on one hand, but on the other hand, don't uh, be afraid of new things and don't be afraid to contribute the whole, as I said, uh, the whole system of egregory. Because once you will be uh, skeptical that no, we are not in, uh, and, and technically this is not, we are in a new <laughs> context of existence, but let's say we are building it, right? But, and I mean, for real, from zero, from, from nothing, we are building it, we are creating it. Don't be skeptical. Don't be skeptical. Nope. You don't need to be skeptical. You need to be, you need to be optimistic, you know, because uh, wa once you uh, don't believe that we turned uh, old, old, old uh, context of existence uh, out and uh, you only believe that, uh, that uh, nothing new is on horizon, you know, you, uh, we will be not uh, get rid of this this kind of old problems that easy, and it will take a hell of the time. So the, this is interesting, Peter. So we know that we're in a process. We're moving forward. The getting back to uh, Yamantau or Jamantau. Yeah, Jamantau. Yeah. Um, Jamantau in a Bashkir language. Jamantau. Jaman? Yeah, because I oh. can see it. There's a, there's a Y there. So of course my translation of it in English was is a little awkward. But anyhow, so here's uh, that looks like a spacecraft hovering over the mountain here. Uh, give me a second. Give me a second. This is not spacecraft. This is uh, teleportation portal. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's used. what those are. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they have them on Mount Shasta. Has those all the time. So this mm -hmm. teleportation going on there. Yep. Okay. And um, the species, you said that they started this facility during the time of the czars. The, czar, the last czar was around 1900s, right? The early 1900s. No, no, no. Give me a second. I'm, I'm saying that this huge underground complex was uh, created thousands of years ago. Uh, ago millennia. Okay. I'm are talking, we are talking about... Dozen, that means 12,000 uh, uh, years old. 12,000. What what race assisted them to create this facility? Because clearly it's an advanced facility. 
most ad at least most advanced what I what uh, I have ever been. I was like, what in the, the world? On the is planet, that? yeah, on the planet. Yeah, on, on, the, planet. on the planet. Most, yeah, 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 on planet. Yeah. You so right. can I can I ask? Is it more than one race or one race of species that assists? Uh, technically, it? now they are uh, a ru a ru a ru one, two, three. Now uh, they are. It is uh, ruled the chief. Let's say CEO, but the chief is Russian, but not the Russian. Like let's say mm, how we can say that normal Russian from our reality, but from their reality. And of oh. course, a, a second world war, uh, the Axis uh, one second world war. So the how we can call it the. Relations are the contexts are totally different. The re, uh, relations are totally different. Everything is absolutely different. No. And so, is this like the um, Vladimir Putin of the other reality? Uh, no, not him. But uh, let's say someone very close to that rank. Yep. Yeah, and of course, uh, from military. Point of view, there uh, there is Wehrmacht there, you know, because they won World War, Second World War, you know, it's normal pretty much. But that's the stuff that people don't like to hear about that stuff. Oh, no, you are pro propaganda, pro it's some sort of Nazi propaganda or something like that. But, you know, there was, I don't want to say that they were not uh, causalities. But not that crazy amount of numbers we are talking about. Respectively, we were talking about uh, like in this reality. I don't know. There were no extermination prison camps, for example. I mean, for uh, Hebrew people or for people they I don't know they don't like from certain silly reasons. You know what I'm talking about. Like. So that this this that reality, the World War II played out in their reality as well. That's what you're saying. Give me a second. Yes, but uh, it was absolutely. I don't want to say. <laughs> I don't want to say that they were that it was fight less, but you know, uh, people. I mean the, the nations in their reality. Uh, are much more advanced and enhanced the mentality of all kind of that stuff is completely different and uh, there are pretty much two parts of the world you know uh, one is this, they are speaking I mean you can speak all kind of your own language it's not a big deal but you need to speak German also and in another part of the world, in another half of the world, you can speak your own language too, but you need to, you are obligated to speak uh, Japanese, you know, that's pretty much the stuff. But it's no violence or something like that, and, like it or not, zero criminality, zero criminality. You don't, because as I said, there is no poverty, nothing. Nothing like that, like, you know, like uh, people working as slaves, crazy as hard for 16, 18 people, 16, 18, sorry, 16, 18 uh, hours uh, per day for, for one slice of bread and one glass of water or one rake mark. Nope, nothing like that. And it's kind of, I like that kind of. You know, I was I was in that reality and it was kind of fine for me. It works for me. I mean, there was people, they technically, they were more rich. They've got more assets and another one they don't. But there was no real deal poverty. Nope, it wasn't like that. But there, there was uh, not another stuff to... No jealousy, you know, and that's kind of because, you know, once I have three or four room flat and small car, I, I, I am 
uh, I don't think that another people they have big cars, you know, huge mansions or something like that. I don't consider them as uh, <laughs> how we can call them like uh, uh, like burglars, but not burglars, but do you know what I mean? Like heists or something like that, you know? And uh, that's or kind looters. of... <laughs> what? Or looters. Yeah, but I don't want to say looters. I am just saying some people, they are making, you know, some sort of you know, let's let's call Deep it thievery uh, of some sort. Yeah, some yeah. sort of cheats or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. What what about this Peter right here? Does this depict uh, the inside the facility? Because this is the Metro game, Mex Metro Exodus. Do you know what? Actually, this is from real deal facility. This is the uh, the Exodus uh, level. And, yeah, this yeah. is from actual facility, and do you know what uh, is it is? Just by the way, uh, it was. Uh, uh, I mean, I I wasn't able to see this in that this state, and I will say you why, because in this huge hall is a, a reactor fuse reactor for stabilizing electromagnetic field, because and I'm saying it for real deal. Uh, Electromagnetic field uh, uh, is crazy as unstable. Sorry, it will be uh, once there will be no such uh, such uh, fuse reactors. Yeah. Okay, so that that helps maintain it. And there's this uh, swirling wires. But give me a second. Out. Give me a second. This is not actual picture. I mean, this is very old picture. Okay. Because once we can see this is long, um, I mean, deep, 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 uh, how we can call it, wolf or something like that. And uh, this is actually almost completely filled in with this reactor. It's huge and it's crazy as complicated to, to, to uh, maintain it under control. So this is old picture. I mean, I, it's kind of weird for me always. Once kind of actual pictures are <laughs> are appearing in you know in the video games, it's <laughs> kind of <laughs> yeah. I don't know if this is any more than some of the, the pictures no, no, there. No, no, this no, is no, the no. Metro. This is no, the no, metro. No. no. Yeah, I know. I know, but I'm just saying that this one particular picture is absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just sort of found that one. No, you it... are absolutely you are absolutely right, but you know, once there should be some sort of I I I like to call it cigar, you know? Cigar and inside it and it is rotating very slowly, very slowly, you know? It's kind of interesting and there is some sort of uh, energetic power field because to be perfectly honest the yes it is uh, rotating but it is not only rotating it is hovering inside it this reactor is hovering wow yeah so, and that's a cigar shaped object is hovering c cigar shaped object object and it is like it was hovering and it was, I mean, um, and believe it or not, once I am not okay, I mean, I am wiped out, uh, out of comfort zone or something, I always go to this reactor and this call, it, it, call, it, it will calm me down, always. It is weird, but weird in good way. It is interesting. Is it because of the the um, magnetic field? Is I don't more... know. Maybe, maybe. But our dog too, because I've got uh, my dog with me too. And you know, uh, sometimes you know something weird uh, will happen or so, and he start to bark or so, and he's not barking, just, 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 you know, uh, because of something. 
and the, we we still simply go to this reactor because technically it's not true one reactor to be perfectly honest there there is actually there are uh, actually plenty of them quite plenty of them mm -hmm. and uh, this is some sort of hovering you know and and just by the way uh, via those reactors it's not they are not just reactors you can access akashic records you know first very first uh, like proto conscious it's it's weird i mean weird in good way you know it's kind of so does, so this other reality do they have similar um history like we have or it, it just at this point we're kind of connecting and we're we're merging the realities but do they have a different history that say that their akashic records is going to be merging with ours uh what give me a second for example they have a history so you know just like i have a timeline my soul history has done all sorts of different things you do as well and so say imagine you know um you know this reality that reality they're merging both both of their soul histories together so yep. Is yep. that going to impact uh, the Akashic records? Now we'll have. No, you are not right. No. Why not? not? Because we are we are uh, only uh, we are we all of us we are all able only to read Akashic records. But the, the two have separate records of history oh, and then yeah, they're merging yeah, okay, okay, together okay. no 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 uh, sorry my bad okay got you do you know what actually it is because uh, but in good way not in bad way but technically there will be let's say three versions but there will be all, all always like let's say abc or something like that like versions do you know what i mean yeah well it makes it more complex so yep. it's it's you know say for example what like we're in a parallels right so some of the uh, same people uh -huh, exist in are, another parallel right. and then yeah, right. something happens in one parallel and then something happens in our reality and i'm finding that i'm i'm reading now i'm when i'm doing uh looking at akashic record information that it's some of it's from another reality or from from a parallel or something so I don't know, maybe it's the merging of this that's happening. So it becomes confusing because then you, you're looking for a timeline and and uh, then the people have um, a, a personal history of, of living or doing something in a certain time period. But then mm -hmm. you see there's another thing that they did or another lifetime there that doesn't seem to match the timeline or whatever. And so, um, yeah, well, that makes a lot of sense then, Peter. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, so we, we have a very, very interesting and complex future then. Yeah, we, we will, we will, let's say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we will. You are right. Okay. You so are right. Did you want to cover some of the other stuff that we had talked about before? I have, you know, a few different ideas, and I don't know how much time you have with us, but or do you I want to know, save that much, for another I think, time? I think that we don't necessarily need to use all the time. Maybe we can make, how we can call it, like one shorter show. It will be not that big problem, will it be? No, you need to no, we can, me. I think that that this is, let's you know, covering the information about Gemintao is is very good, and it also re relays um, what's going on in our reality right now. So, to add some of these other topics, I think it's it's not going to have the same type of energy. We'll say it like that. Yeah, you yeah. are right. Because yeah. sometimes, once we are talking about certain stuff. You know, I think that it is fine. Just just make some sort of, sort of maybe shorter show or something. What do you think? 
Yeah, and we also have uh, some interviews coming up, and we also have the ACIO. Yes, me. It will ACIO. be better. It will, it will be best uh, thing possible to talk about stuff. You know. Yep. Now it is working. Yep. There we go. Okay, so um, for those of you that haven't seen, this is the Advanced Alien Contact Intelligence Organization, the ACIO, and um, you know, we'll probably have some update information here going forward. If you want to look at the other pages, you know, here's the history of the ACIO, which has recently been released, is a, a storyline uh, that was given to Peter that was written in the archives of the ACIO. And then we read, I read the narrative and to tell the story of the ACIO. So we have that available. Um, anything you want to say about that, Peter? To be perfectly honest, I think that uh, that video presentation you uh, made uh, with, let's say, you know. <laughs> with Ralph. With, with Ralph, uh, of, yeah. Yep. Yeah, our... our let's say, behind scenes, friend, Rolf, you know, and then I just uh, gave some sort of info for fill it in. <laughs> you, you pretty much, you know, gave us the information from the archives of the ACIO. And uh, yeah. so there it is. And we have that page. Um we also, you know, Peter has uh, a radio show on the Czech and Slovak radio. For the, some of you already know about it. And he's, you've been doing that show for how long, Peter? Oh, it's five years. Yeah. For five years is Peter's bio here. Many people have asked about your background. And uh, there's information on there. Uh, of course, that all of you are familiar with, you know, the D Disclosure Show. And so, and also Andromeda Talks Radio, where the shows go live every day, 11, uh, every single day, seven days a week, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you've missed any of uh, the interviews that I've done with Peter on disclosures, that they will be there. And also the YouTube channel. And um, so we'll take a quick look and see what else we have here. Um, let's see. Here's uh, the Council of Five, and let's see, uh, information about the Council of Five and the relationship to the ACIO, the Intergalactic Council, There's some information here and the relationship to the ACIO, uh, information about Lincoln Clay, and uh, the merge, which we've already talked about the merge. Yeah. And there's uh, information on that. We did some videos if you want to listen a little bit about some of the background there. And uh, a lot of people have asked about the wing, wing makers and the connection of the ACIO to the wing makers, as this is uh, one, one uh, small uh, part, one division. It's uh, uh, the 15th division. And, and what their agenda was uh, early on before the uh, 12th Division came forward to share some of the information. And here's information on the numbers group, which we have talked about before in the past, as well as uh, the Labyrinth group. We have just another group that we've mentioned in the past, and there's information here. And let's see, uh, information about soft disclosure. Yeah, you are right. Uh, so you can see these are all the video games that we've discussed and how they relate to uh, many different things that have played out in our reality. And, of course, they reveal it through video games, what their agendas are. And if this is not the ACIO that's doing it, these are these uh, military or corporations. And so, you know, that which brings us to the... Um, Secret Space Program and their their perspective of the Secret Space Program and, you know, a discussion that we had regarding the trip chair. And you can listen to that. 
as well as uh, we have uh, Mars Colony Corporation and the many people that are involved in the Mars uh, um, Colony Corporation and Universal Agendas. Yep, so you are right. Is, they, are, they are good too. Yes, yeah, so here's uh, some of the, the Nazi agenda and um, that we have Dark Fleet information and, you know, some of the vehicles, some of the names, and a little detail information regarding some of the, some of the uh, attributes of the spacecrafts. We also have um, <coughs> worldwide. Okay, so this, this is this Monarch, right? This is the grid that Monarch had around our reality. Yeah, you were right. And uh, here are a description. A lot of people ask about these corporations and their involvement on the planet. So these are the four positive influences that they've had on the planet, represented by Kruger, Cyber Life, Shoreline, and Trinity. And the ones that have been a problem for us is Monarch, Mobius, Delphi, Murkoff, uh, Umbrella Group, and Shaw House, and there's probably others too, Peter. But I mean, we keep on remembering to put in other information. Yeah, you were right. And then we have a disclaimer here about the ACIO files, which uh, Peter is exclusive in providing that information. And uh, but he, you know, he was open to the public at one time and and is not able to any longer because of. Um, other responsibilities that are on the forefront, but um, yeah, he's the only one that is doing that, and there's no one else that has access to that information. But anyhow, um, anything else that you'd like to share, Peter? I think that um, we are pretty much fine with uh, with uh, that right now, and uh, I'm looking forward for next show. Okay, well, thank you everyone for listening, and we'll have the link available if you want to scroll through and look at some of the content on the website. And of course, um, we will also, um, you know, uh, please uh, include any type of comments or questions or anything like that that you have. And we appreciate your ideas and your participation. And as Peter says we'll get the right spelling of the um, Gregor. Gregory. Gregory. Gregora. Gregory. Yep. So, or Gregora, so that we can, you know, hold on to the highest intention for humanity and put out positive intentions for the planet, as that m does make a difference, doesn't it, Peter? Yep, it is definitely for sure. Um, okay. I agree with you hundred percently. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing with us and thank you for sharing information regarding Jumantau and your experience there. Um, and you're still there. So um, maybe come back and give us an update and uh, we'll be doing some interviews too coming up and it's going to be a surprise. And uh, other than that, for this show, we'll see you next week. Thank you, Peter, and have a good day, everyone. Thank you for opportunity to be on your show too. Bye bye. Okay, goodbye everyone. You have been listening to Disclosures with Peter the Insider and Jessica Ariel Morocco. Join us on YouTube channel Jessica Ariel Morocco and visit www.peter-insider.com and www.readingsbyarial.com Remember to post your questions in the comment section below the video. We look forward to hearing from you.